And uh, welcome to another tutorial with the Pentology Drawing app from the Google Play Store. The app is um, available for Android phones and tablets, so it's free and you can uh, use it to learn digital drawing the easy way. Not digital drawing using all the tools, which majority of the other digital apps seems to uh, do just give you one tool to do this one tool to do that and the reason why those other apps can become popular is because you don't they're not teaching you the most fundamental skills of drawing which is uh, everything unrelated to drawing tools you know for example tones and values textures form shape volume, perspective, everything that makes up a really good artist. So just to give you a comparison, if you looked at the your favorite YouTubers who make uh, fantastic drawings and paintings with their traditional materials, for example, acrylic, <clears throat> using acrylics, uh, you're thinking how they do it. And they have essentially the same tools like you and I but they still manage to produce and that's not due to the tools you should know that you should dismiss the idea that tools are somehow magically going to make you a great digital artist it's not basically what they have are techniques art skills all the things that um, you probably shy away from thinking it's too academic and really not your cup of tea but anything like this you can do pick up a tool so that's uh, <clears throat> so I mean, some of you who install the app will come with that thinking with that mindset and they'll go straight to draw look at the drawing tools and and then say the tool doesn't have this 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 and that that i'm so used to this tool this tool I'm out of here, right? That's like saying, that's like saying if you want to hire a carpenter, you base his work on, on his tools. So you pass him, you want to hire him to do some, show you some work and all that. You go to his workshop, you don't know, he doesn't have the tools to your liking, so you're out of there, right? It's, that's typically what it amounts to, because you're not, paying attention to the skills and the acquisition of his knowledge that he can transfer to you. It's the same as a student going to a carpenter to learn and then he judges the carpenter based on the set of tools he has. That's essentially what it amounts to. And if you don't believe me, think about it for a while before, uh, before you know, quick to judge. And a lot of people... Unfortunately, nowadays are too quick to judge. So these are techniques that I'm speaking of can now be learned a lot faster with the digital medium. And this is where my skills as an artist, I'm, I'm not a formal, I don't have any formal training. Many people ask me that. It's very flattering because I've seen my traditional artwork and all my other artworks and they asked me that always and I said no I don't have formal training you don't need it you can learn anyone can learn and so what it is is that artwork if you learn the techniques you're essentially your uh, if you go to my paintings your skills can go way beyond what digital tools will have to offer. This is George Surratt, the uh, bathers in, you, might, you may have seen that, it's one of the most popular paintings in the world. So this was to show you how you can accomplish some of the skills or techniques and create this drawing. It took me two hours and many, many other paintings I've done. This was one by Ferdinand Hodler. The Kian Valley hangs on the, you can see here I drew this, based on the reference image. So that's what 
the skills you can acquire. And there's another there's another misleading thing thought that arises with people is that I'm image manipulating. You know, that is the worst. That is the worst remark you can make to an artist. You know, the artists already have a bad rap. Digital artists that <clears throat> the word seems to be going around no soul in their painting, in their artwork. You know, I don't know what that means. No soul means uh, somehow some AI has somehow taken over your mind while you're holding a stylus in your hand and dictating you how you should do it, you know? So there probably stems from the fact that everyone's fearful about AI as well, which is also, in my opinion, nonsense. People jump sensationalism, jumping to conclusion, li very limited knowledge when they deduce something. And it's unfortunate that that's the type of world we live in. This is one done in... 10 minutes, 20 minutes. See how quick that was? This doesn't, does that look like digital art to you? I don't think so. So most of my artwork is mistaken for anything but digital, you know? So this is a Kandinsky I did. Yeah, the forest. So plenty of examples for you to. So recently I've been doing some of these great masters and appreciating more of their works, you know, just just because I like it, you know, and uh, let me see if I can show you. Yeah, this one, the Cafe Terrace, this is my drawing. You can see I put Pentology on that, based off the original Cafe Terrace by Van Gogh, Vincent Van Gogh. So, there you are. So, this is just to show you the capabilities, if you really extend your knowledge, it's not about tools, it's about techniques. And I'm going to show you. And the reason why I use techniques is because I could use one brush. I don't look for brushes to do a certain thing. I don't look for blending, blending tools to do blending. And those are designed for, and for you know, to make blending easy. And remember, all these tools didn't come about to support the art industry as such. You know, the normal artists who do this traditional they've they've been around long before traditional artists ever took an interest in digital art and i'm going back to 30 years 30 over 30 years ago when the pc hit the mass market ibm pc and then they realized and then what changed everything was the world wide web internet the explosion of the internet the world wide web and now it's gonna change the very way people shop online get knowledge online you know i gave up my i'm buying amazon books about 20 years 25 or more years ago because i i acquire all my programming knowledge all the knowledge i want straight on the internet you know wikipedia is one many, many sources i just don't stick to one the important thing is to ask the right question in Google search and uh, and you get all the answers you need and it's gotten better and better. You don't need books, but the reality of it is this quick fix can also bring about bad uh, bad uh, habits and these bad habits are you're looking for a quick fix in drawing, quick fix in in anything you know it's all about quick fix you know conversation chat you can hop from one chat to another get what you're looking for and uh, and not really delve beyond the surface you know it's like it's like pretty much on the surface everything's on the surface and then you make snap quick snap decisions i can't do this because i don't have the skills you know acquisition of skills is to me the most godly thing that one can do to develop your own skill set taking it as far as you can it's uh, it, your mind was designed to become skillful just like when we were going back to when mankind roamed earth 
you know, they had to use their wits and by abound to find, to live, survive and develop. And that's how we progress. So there's a lot of us who use our skills, but there's a majority of us who just wants the easy route. If you want the easy route, you know, when it comes to painting and drawing, you're probably going to dive straight into tools and get the instant gratification. And then you're always going to complain that you can't go anywhere beyond that. So let me, uh, let's not talk too much about it. I can go on and on. Let's see where you get the paintology. It's from the Google Play Store here. And then type in paintology here, there, and you'll see the paintology app there. And then this is the app here. You can see the screenshot there. Okay. So all that. And all right. So that's the paintology. So now let's go to the other resources that I want to show you. There are a couple of resources that I need you to bookmark. One is firstly, I'll go to the uh, Google Classroom. You'll find the link on this page as well. And that's where I have put together a structured class to learn painting and drawing really quickly. So painting and drawing you know, rapidly with the paintology and to learn the techniques. Remember, it's not about the tools. Man, man, most people already told you why you should not look at tools, you know, the way I, I think of it. Because remember, also, I'm very proficient at so There's nobody, for some reason, comes anywhere near to my ability in drawing digital and that's not because I'm proficient with the digital tools. It's because I'm knowledge in the techniques. And that's what I'm going to teach you. So if someone comes along who is far better than you in their ability at drawing digital, well, shouldn't you be paying attention? Or should you be hammering your point across to that person? And that's what you do when you come to the app, make quick snap decisions, and, and out the door you go. So I'm hoping that since you're here on this um, live stream, you are here for a reason to learn. And I know a lot of you, in fact, the majority of people who have their favorite YouTube artists actually are non-practitioners, you know, and that's, and that's not difficult to understand because they just like the process of drawing, just like they like the watching chefs make food or watching a woodworker at work, you know, and all that. So it's pretty much like that. But paintology is different. It's designed to teach you the techniques of art, okay? And anyone can pick it up now that we have digital in a, if you look at digital in a different way here. So first of all, bookmark paintology.com daily step-by-step -step video tutorials button, and you'll come to this page huge page long daily tutorials i've been doing since going all the way back to the beginning of september october yeah so here you see 24th which is today the subject salisbury cathedral by the river john constable and i think pretty much everyone who's into art of some kind has heard of this this amazing painter of our British painter of our t of a previous generation and last two generations, I'd say. And he's uh, painted the most famous one in my comes into my head, the Haywen. In fact, I did that in block coloring, so there's good reason why I picked him. And the uh, and the previous paintings I've done were the Surat George Surat the uh, Ferdinand Hodler, and then uh, William Turner as well, and The Forest by Paul Cezanne, and The Star by Edgar Degas, The Kiss, Gustav Klimt, and uh, Café Taris by Van Gogh, and of course, the in the 
the unforgettable Mona Lisa, yeah? You should see that, actually. It's quite nice what I did. I actually put a little bit of smile on her compared to the previous one. It looks a little bit somber. So let me show you what I did. So this was the painting. And this is done on the phone. I'm having, I'm holding a Note 10 right now. And that's just a 6.45 inch phone. And I've got a stylus, so you can use your finger. So this was done in the two parts drawings that I sat with. You'd think that you'd that spent ages. A lot of people are also a little bit amazed at the speed at which I draw. And these are the skills you can... I don't think about the speed, honestly. <clears throat> I'm not always pushing myself to work fast unless it's a very complex drawing. This one I did in the space of two hours very comfortably i didn't rush or anything i just i just did what i you know i could with my skill set and i think you'll agree this is a good one you know i put a little bit of smile on there so the one we're going to do is salisbury cathedral by this one i actually used gimp to enhance the image a little bit because it looked appeared a little too washed out not washed out i would say it looked a little bit sort of under the weather a little dark the one i the the image that i picked up from the national gallery because they have a bigger image this was in landscape mode but as you know i'm painting in in portrait so we're going to do this painting, beautiful painting, look at it, look at the colours, it's wonderful. And if you look at characters, they look like mishmash, that's the beauty, that's why I'm able to pull off the painting and do it so quickly, because I don't spend time doing the faces, That's it'd be, you'd be silly trying to do that, if you're looking at hyper-realism which people some people are gobsmacked by you know they're they're doing it in that they have a big canvas and if you notice though they don't work <laughs> they don't work at doing a full swift swept painting like a the big brush sweeping their you know waving their hands up in the air and from one end of the canvas to another they're basically doing a bit like pointillism using uh, tones for each of the pixels and i can you can actually do that if you want to do hyperrealism by yourself you can do it with uh, block coloring I'll sh I'll, if i have time i'll show you it's very easy so let we've downloaded the reference image the other resource i want to talk to you about is core paintology.cora.com please do follow me there Remember, I'm doing this for free of charge. I don't know any artist who will sit through every day for two over over two hours, sit with you every day, offering free classes. I don't know. If you do, you know, please do let me know because I don't think there is anything as benevolent as someone like me. But I'm doing this because for two reasons. One, I want people to, you know, Stop always being consumed by information, disinformation, and all this chit chat on Facebook. You know, having you know titillating information that just moves you, and then you follow another thread, and then you follow this guy which you don't like. Make a quick remark, and you're out of there, on off, off to another topic that sort of comes your way you know it's ridiculous it's like you get immersed in a world that was designed not for the real human you the real you the real you needs to have time out and of course again this time out is invaded by uh, you know bombarding all the luxury toys movies food you know again chit chat on various subjects anything that sort of interests you and then comes your way it's on tv everyone planted themselves on tv i'm talking about you know 
taking time out, really thinking. That's really doing something like drawing, right? The drawing is the completely polarized opposite of all that stuff's going around the world. You're in a world that's chaotic, and now all of a sudden, in an hour or two, you're in a world of your own making. And it's one of the reasons why drawing will stay popular for the end of time. Drawing and painting, don't, and all these foolhardy people who talk about AI taking over is just pure nonsense. And there was one person who, who says, you know, what's the point of a drawing if it's if you're going to be replaced? Or, And I'm thinking, have you ever done drawing, painting? Yeah, that's the reason why you would want to draw. Um, some people will continue to draw the benefits and the pure joy and satisfaction. Why do you think I can relentlessly sit through here every single day showing you these techniques? Because I actually enjoy it. When I develop my skills and continue to develop my skills, I know that I will go far beyond other people. And it's, and it's not because of that. It's because I'm developing my own internal skills, doing something that that satisfies me, you know? So I don't know what your reasons would be to paint and draw, but I'm just telling you it brings about huge benefits too. So this one is paintology.quora.com. So I encourage you to follow me there because I put up daily blurbs on that. Let's open up an app. And then you'll see here, and I have, this is my profile, you can see, I've answered over 1,400 questions related to art, this is the drawing we're going to do, so I usually spend, like I've spent a little bit more than I have because I'm talking a lot on the philosophy of that, see all these paintings, so it goes back I don't know, three years on subjects. And then I have also the paintology.com and forgot to show you the blog post. That's all related to art, digital art, and also traditional art that I've done. And I've combined, I've married. Think of the paintology as marrying traditional art with digital art, yeah? Okay, so that's enough said. And then uh, let's go head back. And go straight for our. So I'm going to open up draw. So remember, don't go to draw, go to tutorial. That's the biggest tip I can give you. Don't head for draw thinking of the same thing, thinking of your same favorite sandwich. Maybe there will be a, another sandwich that's far more tastier than the one you're used to. So let's go to draw. There. So you got this wonderful painting. It's only a portion. I obviously cropped it. I also enhanced it. And uh, I have Photoshop, but I'm not going to do digital art in Photoshop, only because, to me, that's not the pleasure of painting. That's like work. You know, I use it for... I'm a very advanced user of that medium using a stylus. I already have it on my desktop. You can see I've been using it for 30 years, but I never use it to make creative art. So here it is. So what are we going to do? Now let's think about this, right? This is the actual art. So this is a trace button. You can see I'm playing around with that. So what this means is that if you're in the top half, you're referring to the, to the reference image that lies below the trace which means you can pick any colors. Like for example, if I'm online, let me take that up. I can pick any colors. And that pick that yellow color, pick this, okay? I pick these colors and transferred it. So if before someone jumps to thinking it's image manipulation, I'm not using any image manipulation tools, thank you very much. I'm making this drawing by hand from the skills I have and the skills that a lot of people can do as well. 
and that's called block coloring which is very much like paint by numbers but think of it like paint by numbers but on steroids so look at this first examine the whole pen it's beautiful strokes wonderful art set there's some minor there's some strokes this is something i would love to do in a big canvas traditionally as well and i would be quite good at it i reckon well i've got a lot of paintings hanging on people's wall so okay so first thing i can do is you've noticed that as i've said it's very much like traditional i am using traditional methods and techniques and applying that's the reason why my digital artwork is confused with digital create you know artwork confused with traditional because I, I, I don't use all the tools that people are used to simple as that i'm going to stick to this line brush and then i'll probably switch to another brush to have some kind of an effect of the brush strokes that so this is a painterly effect yeah so and the brush strokes that uh, constable achieved with that so before i do that i'm going to try and put down the primary colors you must have seen that right these i can see primary colors here the gray sky then there's some of that green here and then obviously some of that green here and brown and the land here so that's what i'm going to do i'm got it 100 percent i've got a 10 percent almost and i'm just going to simply get these colors but we can go beyond what traditional artists do think of this color picker as like a pot of paint right we don't have to mix these colors these are the infinite pots of paint that we can easily pick out just by selecting that and here's the pot of paint right i select it and then i'm saying i'm going to get a pot of color for this there it is pot of color for this and here's the yellow pot of color for this there's a pot of paint there i'm going to mark that so anywhere i land is going to be that color so which means that what am i doing basically transferring these exact tones that are on that wonderful painting and transferring it bit by bit here yeah. yeah going to my paint pot right let me open up my paint pot again get the color that i want see i'm not even mixing colors yeah that's the great beauty of digital is that this will allow you to appreciate tones that are happening in the real image and most of us tend to paint from reality isn't it you know majority of the artwork is not based on abstract or surrealism right look at all the variations of the colors that constable had on his isn't it look at that all these are you didn't think there was that many colors but indeed there is just in the sky alone so let's just go through that and now you can see i'm doing really quickly right just getting these laying down this we try and keep it close to what i think we could uh, you know i've got a measure of how to get these so i know these sky is bearing with the orange and the gray so that's all I'm doing. I'm just laying down these localized tones that are happening there and bringing them to my canvas. Okay, see, this is what I've done so far. Okay, let's go back. This is actually super fun. So the idea is that I am trying to teach you, paintology attempts to teach you these methods of drawing and painting and making it look fun so you know i want people to draw for good reasons 
and not do it for good reasons. When I say that, I mean, uh, you know, a lot of people just gave up drawing because they've dismissed the fact that they can't do it or they don't have what it takes and they blame it on uh, on something external to them and that's a mistake you know because it's, it's easy to convince it's easy to reassure yourself that you're not you don't have what it takes because then you don't feel that you you are not at fault the fault is the entire art which is only uh, which only can be done by a few people, right? And then you always regret for the rest of your life. And I do ask my some of my family members why they don't draw, and I get very crude responses. They, they actually, I said, draw something for me, and they draw it, and then they go, this is as far as I can do, this is all I can do, and I said, and then I'm sort of thinking to myself, have you, we ever bothered trying to learn, you know? But they actually made up their mind they can't draw because they haven't gone beyond looking at the marks on the paper and then uh, at one particular type of cliff. This is, uh, they draw this cliff. <laughs> and it's the same thing as, as the sun and the... Uh, and the father, the same. So basically, the father has transferred that knowledge of drawing to him, the son. And the son also claims he's got no drawing skills. All he can do is that, what his father showed him. I don't know whether to laugh or cry, but that's really what it is. So you can see what I'm doing now. I'm just talking and then just going selecting the tones that are there. I'm not too bothered about getting the exact tones, and I'll show you some blending effect that I will do afterwards. So I'm always looking for new techniques. Notice there's a black here, so it's going to be a bit dark here. That's probably the trees, I think. I'm not working with speed because I did speak a lot. Sorry, I did talk a lot. This is a cathedral. Obviously, there's a lot of reasons. I mean, be honest with yourself. Don't don't try and fool yourself that you can't do something because of a rare skill that other people. Because you're only doing injustice to your own self. Anyone can draw, and I'm proving. See, is, does this take any drawing experience? I don't think so. Yeah. Does this need any drawing experience? Look, I'm picking. This is just picking. In fact, I discovered this technique of block coloring a year ago while I was waiting in the doctor's area for an appointment. And and they were taking so long, my goodness. I think I think at the second time I visited that waiting area where I had to wait practically seven, eight hours. I don't know how people the patience, so I just got my I just got my pen, my humble phone and my stylus started doing Will Smith. In fact, I was like so surprised that this way of colouring, and then uh, and then I was like so impressed. Then I started doing. Then I picked up the Hay Wayne by Constable. This one, the same same artist, 
And then I was like so impressed. I'll show you the painting actually. Let me just show you how I did it with block color. In fact, I feel like I need to show you now. So let me save that and go to These are all freehand. In case you think I use the train trace to do everything. Some of you, you know, youngsters who think they know a lot. Yeah, look, did that block colouring. Look at that, I was so impressed by it. Yeah, you must have no, I haven't done the sky. You should see the final completed one when I finish the sky. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. You must know this famous picture, the hay wing. So yes, yeah, so as I was saying, some of you might think, oh, he's using trace, you know. These are the very same people who you do not want to train you on anything, believe me. Because you know what, these are the same people who will say, you go to and... Uh, you ask them, how can I break my <coughs> 100 meters record? Yeah, and as a track athlete, how can I break? They're going to, what they're going to do is say, well, you just keep doing it again and again. So they'll, you come to the track at 9 a.m., 8 a.m. in the morning, and then he's going to say, just go up and down as many times as you can, and then I'll come back at 5 p.m. And hopefully you've got a good dose of the same thing again and again. <laughs> you know, that's just, com you know, that's just, it's foolishness. Nobody would train anything like that. There's so much food intake, regimental, stamina, fitness training. Oh my God, God knows how much, you know. So I'm still using these same colors. I'm still using the same going over. I'm not just, you know, I'm just getting these different variations in colors. Right there. Don't worry about the tiny details where people Look what we've got here, look, talking, look, I'm practically finished. And that's the first step I'm going to do. And then next step is in the, uh, you know, just picking these colors. doesn't have to be exact. I know there are more details underneath here. The sky was a little obviously ob obvious in the tones, but there's lots going on here. That's what makes the whole painting wonderful, isn't it? And just picking the colours. Doesn't have to be the exact colours. So I'm just following these colours. And I may have picked up some of the colours, right? So that's all I'm doing, picking these. And you probably know that a lot of the artists do that. They're not going to show you laying down these broad colors, do they? They show you an eclipse of it. Trust me, there's so much thought behind it, but it's very hard to put into words. But when you're doing it, you can understand it better, isn't it? Now you practice. Now you can practice. I would practice like this. Right there. So always, in order to pick the color picker, you need to be on the on the canvas. Yeah, there's so many details there, but we'll get to it because we've got that powerful zoom feature, mate. You know. This will really bring your creativity out. So 
So that's what we have so far. And that's the first layer. You can't, the, the traditional artist doesn't have that advantage of doing this, but we do because we've got the powerful color picker. So the paint pot there, and we've laid down the first layers. And the second part, I'm going to take a little bit of a longer break. So this only took us literally 20 minutes to do. It'd probably take you longer. So I'll give you a chance to bring it up to date. I'm going to actually take a little bit of a longer break. And the next part two starts at 10 o'clock, 10 GMT, okay? And you'll find the link in the description of this YouTube, or simply just go to that page that I showed you, the bot page you bookmarked here, and then you'll see part two for this, yeah? That's when we carry on and finish this beautiful painting at one 10 GMT, so please do join me for that. In the meantime, you know, please subscribe to this channel, Paintology, and then uh, and or bookmark all the other pages so you have it under your resources, and then we'll go on this wonderful journey of artistic creation, artistic skills, and you'll see that there's a lot more under the hood of Paintology, not just drawing tools if, if you happen to come from it's actually um you know i'm rambling on again it's actually this this is perfect for any traditional artist who had a who had different opinions about digital art and i had a quite a conversation with one of them who uh who actually claims uh traditional artists better again he used the word no soul no no life no soul behind digital art i don't know what i know i have an idea why they say that because they feel that all the because the first of all they don't know what they're talking about because they haven't done it so i i had a good long conversation with him and i kept telling him it says look at the way i draw you know it's very much like traditional maybe you like it but then he goes no so it hasn't got traditional i'm not going to do digital so, and then I actually said a sentence which you might, some of you might understand or probably laugh in a way as well, sarcastic. I said, I choose to eat apples but will never try oranges even though I've never, I, would, I eat, you know, I like apples but I would never try oranges even though I've never tried it. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm going to repeat that. I will eat apples but not eat oranges even though i've never tried it you see the sarcasm and then you, guess what someone upvoted and guess who it was it was the same guy i was having the long-winded answer you know question back back and forth and he upvoted it maybe he knew what i was saying maybe i've opened up his mind perhaps but i think you know what i meant by that statement Anyway, so enough talk, so please make sure you have this painting up to this level. If you're not going to do it now, hopefully, I really hope you will do it later on in the next. So I'll see you shortly in 15 minutes or so, yeah? Thank you. Bye.